This year, new for me is uh, as a filmmaker, as a director for the documentary, feature documentary, Art Paul of Playboy, The Man Behind the Bunny. Excellent. And how did you get involved with the project? I have known Art Paul and his wife Suzanne Seed, who is also a fellow writer, for more than 10 years. And I always felt art deserved to be better known. And so after the finishing of my last documentary film that is based on my memoir, it's called Mulberry Child, I had the opportunity to work on another uh, documentary. And so naturally, you know, Art Paul came into view. So it took me four years to work on the film. Art Paul is a um, wonderful human being. He was very low key. You know, people think about Playboys, thinking about the flashy side, but he was nothing uh, about that. He was very creative, a fantastic art director, and he created so many, you know, did so many innovation in magazine design that really changed the design world. Um, but he himself was very humble, very down to earth, and of course he's best known for creating the iconic Rabbi logo, um, but he never talked about it. So I always felt he deserved to be better known. How, how did you meet him and when did you realize that he was the man who created the iconic rabbit logo? You know, I got to know him about 10 years ago and I didn't know he was the creator of the iconic rabbit logo. Very humble man, right? Exactly, and also in his home studio, he had all the artwork from famous artists to his own, you know, drawings and paintings. He doesn't have anything about Playboy on his studio. So I didn't know until his wife told me and other people tell me, and I was just fascinated. How did you convince him to allow you to make a film about his life? That's a very good question. Actually, when I first came you know, into the idea about making a documentary film on him, he declined. And his first question is, what about half? And he mean uh, Hugh Hafner, and I was saying, Mr. Hafner have two documentaries and many, you know, publicity on him, um, and I want to focus on the creative part of uh, your design work, your art directing work. Um, it took us uh, a couple of dinners and talking, convincing, but once he agreed, he was very collaborative. Excellent. And this was a biography you made after your own biography, documentary. What was the difference? Was it a relief to actually shoot a film about someone else rather than yourself? The two films are so different, right? Mine was set against the backdrop of China. China's Cultural Revolution, that's my becoming of age, uh, coming of age years. And I wrote the book Marlboro Child for my daughter when she was uh, a teenager. I couldn't talk to her. Uh, she was an all American girl and I didn't want her to forget where she came from. That's how that book and film came into being. And I didn't direct that film. Uh, it was directed by Susan Morgan Cooper, a veteran film director. And the film won quite a few awards. It was a very emotional emotional film and I acted as myself in the film and I worked as an associate producer for the film. Art Paul designed several posters for the Chicago Film Festival so there's such an intricate connection to Chicago Film Festival and I learned that Chicago Film Festival actually is going to give Art Paul uh, posthumously uh, award what they call Chicago Award of Artistic Excellence and so they will give a tribute to him followed by the screening of the film. I'm very very honored and excited about that. Congrats. When is that going to happen? That's on uh, Sunday at 7 p.m. October the 14th. Excellent. Jian Peng, thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. You're